Welcome to Seal Point Academy. Today we will talk about bits and bytes. This is the very first lecture you will learn in, in college or any programming courses. So let's go to the whiteboard and talk about it. Say a bit is nothing but, right, just either it is zero or one. It's just one bit, right? Either zero or one stored in a location, right? Bits, of course, one, sorry, one or more arrange right if you put them in a memory location so it is individual bit 1 bit 2 bit location 3 it goes on a byte is 8 bits is called as a byte okay we have eight locations and the numbers you can represent any number less than of course 255 we'll see how that is later but for now let's take eight bits it's a byte a full bytes is one or more byte is a bytes. One interesting feature that I want to explain in any programming language it's extremely costly to access the individual bits in a byte. For instance we have a byte. Let's take a byte take any number okay let's take any number and represent them using zeros and ones okay I want to try like this let's take 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 for instance and if the programmer wants the sixth bit right you cannot access the bit directly you can access the byte directly in one shot you give the memory location where you want to do it can get the computer can get you that byte but if you ask the computer to give you the sixth bit it won't give you it's your responsibility to fetch one byte and do some manipulation to get one bit so that you need to learn in the C programming language okay again then what is kilo bytes is nothing but thousand bytes or more right precisely it is 1024 bytes but we always round off to thousand we will again in future lectures we will deal how we arrived at this number okay but for now just remember it is thousand and one mega byte is nothing but thousand kilobytes and uh, if you note I always write with uppercase B so in, in the computer world right in the computer world B always represent the uppercase base uppercase by B represent byte and a lowercase B always represent bits so if you look at your DSL modem 
and if they ask you the speed of your modem people always say minus 20 kilobits or 20 megabits whatever it is that means it's small b means it's bit and uh, if you go to Costco or Fry's and buy a big memory storage, right, they will sell you with like 500 megabytes. So uppercase B means it's bytes. So the distinction in any exams, if they, are, if they write small b, is always bit. If they write uppercase B, it's always byte. That is the notation we use. Okay? Thank you.